Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timushenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.3 .3 and problem number 3.29. Determine the coordinates XC and YC of the centroid C of the area of one of quadrant of an ellipse OAB with major and minor semi-axis A and B respectively. Our interest is to find the centroid for this one quadrant of an ellipse. A given curve clearly mentioned it is an ellipse and the major axis is A and minor axis is B. Hence we know the ellipse equation x square by A square plus y square by B square is equal to 1. So the equation of this curve is this one. With this basic knowledge, let us proceed to find the centroid of this C. For that, I will consider a small a rectangular element, which is at a distance of x from the origin, and the thickness of that strip is dx. Let the height of the strip is y. Since it is a rectangular shape, the centroid is exactly at the center. <coughs> yg is the coordinate, y coordinate of that centroid of uh, that rectangular split and xg is the x coordinate of the centroid of the rectangular strip. I integrate this xz and yz for this entire area then I will get uh, xc and yc. So let us find the value of xg. Clearly we can see this uh, distance is x and the thickness is dx. Hence, xz is equal to x plus the centroid dx by 2. But dx is very small and dx by 2 is very very small and I can neglect as compared to x. Hence, I can say xz is equal to x. And yg is equal to y by 2 exactly at the center. And the area of the strip da is equal to y into dx. The given curve is an ellipse, so we already discussed it and hence the equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 and from this I can find the value of y. So y square by b square is equal to 1 minus x square by a square or y is equal to b by a into root of a square minus x square. Now, from the fundamentals of the centroid, the x coordinate xc is equal to integral xg da by integral da. I know that xz is equal to x, da is equal to y into dx. So, I need to integrate. Now, let us calculate the numerator first, then denominator then we will try to calculate xc. First let us calculate integral xg dA. Now integral xg dA is equal to, I know xg is equal to x and dA is equal to y dx. So integral xg xg dA becomes integral xy dx. Now dx that is x limits. I am going back to the previous slide. Now the x limits are varying from 0 to a. So, this is equal to integral 0 to a x into, from the equation, I calculated y is equal to b by a into root of a square minus x square into dx because the given curve is an ellipse, x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. From that, I identified y value in terms of x and that y is equal to b by a into root of a square minus x square into dx. Now we need to perform the integration. So the basic fundamentals of the integration you already known from your plus 2 class. But I will solve from the fundamentals. That b by a is constant I will take outside. So that becomes b by a integral 0 to a into x into root of a square minus x square. So I will assume a square minus x square is equal to t square. Now after differentiating this equation, I will get minus 2x dx is equal to 2t dt. 2 2 gets cancelled. x dx is equal to minus t into dt. Now I will substitute here a square minus x square is equal to t square. And this x into dx, I will substitute minus t into dt. And what about the limits? When x is equal to 0, 
then t square is equal to a square or t is equal to a or when x is equal to a t is equal to 0. So hence the t limits are varying from 0 to a. So substitute x is equal to 0 here. So you will get a square minus 0 is equal to t square or a is equal to t. And substitute a is equal to here you will get a square minus a square is equal to t square or t is equal to 0. Hence, t limits are varying from 0 to 0 to a. Now, the total equation b by a into integral 0 to a x into root of a square minus x square dx is now becomes b by a into a to 0 because the t limits are varying from a to 0 it becomes a, a becomes 0 and x dx becomes minus t dt and a square minus x square becomes t square. After simplifying then you will get minus b by a integral a to 0 root t square becomes t, t into t you will get t square dt. So this I can easily integrate. So minus b by a into t square becomes t cube by 3 limits are varying from 0 to a. So first we need to substitute 0 minus we need to substitute a. So minus b by a into 0 minus a cube by 3 then finally you will get integral x g dA is equal to b a square by 3. Let us say this is equation number 1. Next let me calculate integral dA. Similarly, integral dA. In dA, I know it is y dx, area of the small strip, that is y into dx. But y, from this equation, uh, y value b by a into root of a square minus x square into dx. And x limits are varying from 0 to a. You know how to perform the integration from the, your fundamentals of your plus 2. But anyway, I will solve from the fundamentals. I will assume x is equal to a sin theta. Hence, dx becomes a cos theta d theta. Now, x limits are varying from 0 to a then what about theta limits so substitute x is equal to 0 first if i substitute x is equal to 0 then theta is also becomes 0 then substitute x is equal to a if i substitute a here then sin theta becomes 1 or theta becomes pi by 2 so theta limits are varying from 0 to pi by 2 so the theta limits are varying from 0 to pi by 2 now Integral dA is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 b by a root of a square minus x becomes a sin theta. So it becomes a sin theta whole square and dx becomes a cos theta d theta. So here a square I can take a square outside. So b by a into a into root of 1 minus sin square theta into a cos theta d theta. Now this you can simplify further. So that is here a a gets cancelled and a b you can take outside integral 0 to pi by 2 1 minus sin square theta is equal to cos theta so in cos square theta d theta cos square theta d theta how you will perform this integration cos square theta i will say 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 plus cos 2 theta it is 2 cos square theta minus 1 so a b integral 0 to pi by 2 into 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 d theta and this integration a b into 1 by 2 integration becomes theta by 2 and cos 2 theta integration sin 2 theta by 2 already 2 is there so it becomes 4 and the limits are varying from 0 to pi by 2. First substitute pi by 2 minus substitute 0. If you substitute 0 you will get 0 here and also sin 0 is 0 so total you will get 0. Now let me substitute pi by 2 first. So integral dA is equal to after substituting uh, pi by 2 you will get uh, finally pi AB by 4. The reason is if you substitute theta uh, pi by 2 here so pi by 4 plus sin pi sin pi is 0 minus if you substitute 0 you will get 0 and sin 0 is also equal to 0. Finally you will get pi by 4. Pi by 4 into AB so you will get pi AB by 4. Integral dA will become pi AB by 4. Hence, the x coordinate integral x g dA by integral dA, we already calculated integral x dA, x dA and we already calculated integral, integral dA and after substituting uh, that is b a square by 3 by pi a b by 4 and then and you will get x c is equal to 4 a by 3 pi. This is the x coordinate for the one quarter of the ellipse.
Similarly, the y coordinate. According to the basic fundamentals, y c is equal to integral y g d a by integral d a. That integral d a we already calculated. Now we need to calculate integral y g d a. But we know y g is equal to y by 2. So integral y g d a is equal to integral y square by 2 dx because integral y g d a is equal to integral y g becomes y by 2 integral d a is equal to y dx. So integral y g d a becomes integral y square by 2 dx. But we know y, we know the value of y that is b by a into root of a square minus x square. So y square becomes b square by 2 a square into a square minus x square dx. And x limits are varying from 0 to a. Now perform the integration now. So b square by 2 a square, a square integration a square into x, x square becomes x cube by 3. Limits are varying from 0 to a. So first we need to substitute a so that you will get a cube minus a cube by 3. 0 I will substitute 0 minus t. So after simplification you will get b square by 2 a square into a cube minus a cube by 3. After simplification here you will get a b square by 3. So this is b square by 2 a square into a cube by 3. So 2a square and 2 gets cancelled here we will have left with a. So you will get finally a b square by 3. Now I can calculate y c value integral y g d a by integral d a. Integral y g d a you know a b square by 3 just now we calculated and integral d a pi a b by 4 already we calculated and after simplification you will get y c is equal to 4 b by 3 pi. This is the y coordinate for the one quarter of the ellipse.